Hi right, again, welcome to New England Classic Car. What we have for auction today is uh, we get some project cars. Winter's coming, we're trying to get these project cars out of here. It's a father and son project. It's been uh, brought to this level. Uh, someone can buy it and take it to the next level. Um, 1957 Ford Ranchero. It has a transplanted 390 engine, all old school, rib valve covers, four barrel, high rise intake. It was painted up pretty years ago, but it's been sitting, it's been sitting in a garage getting dirty and dusty. To our knowledge, we were told it's a rebuilt, and it goes like a bat out of hell. It smokes the tires. C6 automatic transmission, positive rear end in the car. Manual drum brakes all around. We did master cylinder. We did brake lines. We bled the whole system down. It has a new exhaust system on it, two new mufflers, has new tires in the front. Uh, we did all kinds of... We get all kinds of odds and ends here on this thing. Let's take a quick look. It has a black satin paint job. It's got the, it's got the nice paint job. You can wash it and, uh, uh, the, when the dirt gets on it. It washes off and, and it beads up. We did new headlights. The headlights do work. The taillights do work. Uh, the running lights do work. Um, the wipers do not work, although everything's there. Tons of extra parts. I can load up the bed of this car with all kinds of extra parts. There is a front bumper. It's in real nice shape. We just didn't put it on. This is as far as we're taking this project. This window is here, but it's uh, flat glass and it is broken. We did oil change, we did plugs, we did a thermostat, we did a new battery, we did a starter solenoid. Master cylinder, brake lines, electric fuel pump, uh, and the headlights, like I said. Um, 1957 Ford Ranchero, you, you don't see a lot of them. It came from California originally, California plates on it. We have a California registration. We have a notarized bill of sale we're gonna pass on. The inside of the bed, uh, it, the paint's chipped, but it's very, very nice. Underneath this, this bed uh, piece that pulls up in the back of these, it's like brand new, again, from California. Now, it was a father and son project, like I said. They got in there with some galvanized steel on the floor, and they put it all over the place. I don't know why. When you look under the car, there's three or four rust spots that went to the floor. They, they should have patched those, and it would have been a better look. From underneath, it looks fine. From inside the car. It, you know, let's take a heard of angry beavers got loose in there. It's a radio car, full instrumentations in it, dash has not been cut up, does have a tack, automatic on the floor, there's some gauges under the dash, oil pressure and stuff, um, automatic car, as I said, C6 automatic. Real nice car. This would be beautiful, customized, rat rotted out, uh, ready to go in the spring. Uh, the red roof is, uh, that's base coat clay going up on top. It's cracking the windshield. Cracking the windshield, cracking the back glass, dead center in the middle. Uh, it has a nice bench seat in it. There are no door panels, although I do have templates that will go with it, like I said. The stainless runs down the side of this car. is like brand new. We have it. It goes with the car. It's all wrapped up, ready to go. Uh, there are door handles. They'll go with the car. Uh, somebody was getting ready to smooth it. I, I think we rescued this thing just in time. Um, the stainless around the back is just excellent. The tailgate opens and closes, um, and we do have tons of parts here. The rear latch, it opens the tailgate, and I think I've left these lights on again. Uh, this opens the tailgate. Uh, there's pieces that go inside the door. We have boxes and boxes of parts. It has a nice roof liner in it. Um, whoever gets it's going to get a real nice car. It's a running, driving car. You saw the video? goes like a bat. It's really clean under the hood. The frame is very, very nice. No rust or rot in the frame. There is some uh, rust on the floors, as I said. Uh, it's been repaired. Amateur best. Uh, a little undercoating and some galvanized steel paneling from inside. Nice wood green steering wheel. Big fat fatties in the back. There is air shocks under there that can even bring this thing up higher. Brand new taillights. Hey, these are the new taillights. All right, it has uh, brand new uh, taillights. The rings are on the back. The back bumper is on it. Sweet car. Listen, how many of these do you see? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're few and far between to make a great rat run. Great custom car. Project car. We got to move it. We just got a 33 in today. Come this way, sweetheart. Just got a 33 in today. Cadillac engine. Um, this will be up uh, real soon. It's got a quick change rear end in it. It's an old nostalgic race car. Um, can't wait to get that ready for you. This is the car we're offering right now. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, if I lose any more weight, I'm in big trouble. My pants won't stay up. Uh, see you all later. Ciao.
as usual, as usual. Hey, just a, just a quick thing here. Um, the uh, VIN tag and the uh, identification tag on the car, I just wanted to throw something at you people out there. 66B tells you how many of the cars were made, 64,000 or something, my wife said, crazy number. The next number on that identification tag is an E, which tells me the color, and it was Wimbledon white from the factory. The next number in the production line tells me um, where it was made, San Jose, California, factory in San Jose, California. The next number is kind of interesting, Mr. Louis. It's because it's 0001, which tells me it was the first car off the assembly line in April of 1957. Now, this was fast and loud. They'd get 130000 for this. But this is quiet and slow here. That's what we call ourselves. Fast and loud, we're quiet and slow. So we're only going to get that 1500 for it, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to throw that at you that um, it's got a really neat production number. It's probably worth more than the car's worth because uh, it has been altered. If it was all original, I think there'd be something really special here. Right, Stan? Right. Stan says right. He's yeah. doing some. So take a quick shot of Stan over there real quick for the Internet world. Because uh, Stan's over there working on the 31. That'll be up next. That'll be up next. You got to uh, keep your eyes open for that to come soon. Thank you all. Have a good night. Bye.